Question number seven, let's rationalize this. So we have three root three over two minus the square root of three. So to rationalize this fraction, we're gonna have to multiply this by its conjugate. And what do we mean? We're just gonna take this signal and flip it. So we have two plus the square root of three and since we're multiplying the denominator by 2 plus root 3, we need to multiply the numerator by the same. Otherwise, we would be changing the fraction altogether, and that's not what we want. We just want to write it in a different way. Okay, so now let's do this. We're multiplying top and top, bottom and bottom, right? That's how we multiply fractions, of course. So up top we have three root three times two plus the root of three. All over. <laughs> that wasn't quite straight, was it? But that's okay. Um, hopefully nobody's gonna get upset about it. Or so we hope. Now we can expand everything. Over here we have 3 root 3 times 2 and 3 root 3 times the root of 3. So we're gonna have 6 root 3 plus 3 root 9. Why is that? Because 3 root 3 times 2, we're just multiplying 3 times 2 to get 6. And the root of 3 doesn't multiply by anything because we don't have a root multiplying the two. Then over here we have three root three times root three, which is three root nine, because root three times root three is root nine. All over, down at the bottom, we're gonna need to foil this. Multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and the last. Two times two is four. Two times the square root of three is two root three. Minus root 3 times 2 is minus 2 root 3. And then finally, minus root 3 times root 3 minus root of 9. Okay. So up top here we have 6 times the square root of 3 plus 3 times 3 because the square root of 9 is 3. We're almost done. Do not despair. There we go. Well, I wanted to fix this plus sign or this signal, but it didn't work out that well. It just looks terrible now. Oh well. Down below over here, we have 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3. Those are just going to cancel out, right? Because 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is 0. And we have 4 minus the square root of 9, which is 3. Fantastic. So we end up with 6 root 3 plus 3 times 3 which is 9 all over 4 minus 3 which is 1 and anything divided by 1 is just the same thing as before so this is our answer we have rationalized a fraction and it's not even a fraction anymore it's just 6 root 3 plus 9 that's it